Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the import CSV feature in your Fastos e-commerce website builder. Um, I'm just going to basically import a product using a CSV that I've already got uh, existing. So to start let's have a quick look at my catalog and we've got my products and I was if I wanted to add loads and loads and loads CSV is a good way of doing it because you can sort of don't have to go through one by one i am just got got the one in this example uh, if I just show you the file here I'm going to import some blue this blueberries product but again I could have a load more um, and it's it hasn't got too much information on here um, so we'll start with this with this CSV file. The main thing you need to know is if you've got an existing CSV file with all your products, you need to make sure it's compatible with the store. So you need to make sure your headings uh, of the um, of the columns here all match up to what's compatible. Now, I think there's about 30 of them or so. Um, as we can see, we've got things like weight, price, image, description, all of that sort of stuff. Our link in the description, uh, our link to our guide, and that's got a description of all the headings and what you should actually use as the wording for them and sort of what the format is for them too. So that would be really important. So at the moment, this is uh, sort of like I say, in my example, this is all valid. So the description is done in HTML. Uh, the image is a an image that's uh, accessible on the internet and that's basically sort of you've got to make sure that all your data is compatible with the format used here. Okay, so now we've had a look at that. Let's have a look at actually importing it. So I'm going to click on import products here. And the first thing we need to do is choose the file. So I'm going to choose the file I just showed you there. CSV import. Okay, and the delimiter. Now there are three delimiters you can have, and basically that's just the um, the 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 bit that breaks up the information. So you can have a tab, comma, or semicolon. If you're not sure what you need, if you just uh, open up that in a word pad. So this is that same file that I'm importing opened in a text editor. You can see in between each thing there's a comma. So I know my delimiter is a comma. Next, what we need to do is make sure the columns that we want to import are correct here. And before we move on to that, we'll just say actually the skip first line if you've got a heading, um, which I have here. So we want to skip the first line on this because the first line is the the, head, the names of the columns, which we don't want to uh, import here. So we're going to skip the first line there. OK, so let's go through and have a look at this. Now, you can change the order of these at any time. If it's checked, that means you're going to include it in the import. So as you can see here, these are all the sort of options you can actually have um, in your sort of in your uh, import. Um, and I've only got a few in mind. Uh, you can skip a column if you've got a, a column. Say, for example, if you had a column in your in your file um, that wasn't relevant, you could put this in the right order. So you could, that skip column is just if you want to skip one. Um, so you'd use that just to exclude a column. So let's take a look at how this actually works. So if we just pop this on the half here and we go to the CSV import. So you've got to make sure that these, this matches this. So first up is name. Now we can see that's the first column. So that should be first in the list. Subtitle is third. So that needs to be swapped with SKU. So we'll swap that round because SKU is the second column. It needs to be second there. Product subtitle, that's third. Yeah, that's fine. Description is fourth. Fine. Show on front page is that one. That's absolutely fine. Then we've got image next. Um, and image needs to be after after the uh, show on front page, as we can see there. Weight is not is, is there and price is one. Now price actually is in the right place here because we've excluded all of these anyway, so it wouldn't try and include them. However, best practice from as far as I'm concerned, I think the best practice is to be any that you're not actually using, just, just leave them underneath the ones you are using. But like I say, we, we could have had that price all the way down here if we wanted. Um, and because those aren't checked, it wouldn't try and include them anyway. But we'll pop that there. So in theory, this is now ready for importing. Um, what will happen if you get this in the wrong order is that if you act, if you say, for example, you had um, weight and price the wrong, wrong way around here. So if we imported it like this, the price would end up being uh, 0.25 and the weight would be one. So it's really important to make sure you get that right. So now we've done that. 
we're going to not check this box here. So this is an important one. If I check that, it would delete all my other products and categories before import. You're only ever really going to want to use that if it's a brand new store and you wanted to delete and you wanted to start from scratch. But obviously, I don't want to do that this time. So just make sure that's not checked if you're not trying to delete what's already there. So import. And it will say it gets put in a queue. Um, this is a very small file, so I don't expect it to take long. It says approximately five minutes, but no, there we go. It's already done. If you've got a big CSV, obviously that is going to take longer. So now if let's just maximize this again so we can see what we're doing. And refresh. It's just refreshing there. So if we go to catalog products, we can see we've got the blueberries that weren't there before. So if we just go in and check um yeah name SKUs all in the right place weight kilogram and a descriptions there as well so like i say it's a really good idea once you've done an import just go into your product to make sure you haven't got anything wrong i've done it before where the pricing and the weight was in the wrong way or maybe the the name was in the description or anything like that so just make sure you're happy with that and um, and then you can kind of move on from there now obviously you can edit this product from here so we could upload some more images if we wanted to and do all of that and that's really all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.